In this video, I'm going to walk you through a free response question related to the conservation of energy. Let's first take a look at the problem. Teams 1 and 2 use tables and low friction slides with the same height. However, the two slides have different shapes, as shown below. The two ramps and tables are of equal height. Both blocks, of equal mass, are released from rest at the top of their respective slides at the same time. Which block, if either, lands farther from its respective table? Briefly explain your reasoning without manipulating equations. So how do we solve this? Well, first we need to think about energy. If we consider the table as a reference level, both block 1 and block 2 start with some amount of gravitational potential energy. And this potential energy is equivalent because both blocks are the same mass and both have the same delta H, which would be D. Since we know that energy is conserved, that means that at the bottom of the ramp, all of the gravitational potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. Loss is negligible because these are low friction slides. Furthermore, because both blocks start at rest, both blocks will have the same amount of kinetic energy when they reach the end of the table. Now that we've established this, we need to think about kinematics. How do we determine how far a block will land from the table? Well, that's going to depend on how fast the block is going in the x direction and how long it stays in the air. Since we know that both travel through the same y displacement, h, experience the same acceleration due to gravity, and leave the table with a y velocity of 0 meters per second, both blocks must remain in the air for the same amount of time. Additionally, we know that they left the table with the same kinetic energy, and since they have the same mass, this means that they also left the table with the same x velocity, since kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. Hence, since both blocks are going the same speed in the x direction, and both will experience the same hang time, the two blocks will land the same distance from their respective tables. Overall, this problem is helpful because it reinforces how gravitational potential energy is related to kinetic energy, as well as it connects concepts related to energy with concepts related to kinematics. This problem is also nice because it demonstrates that if two objects of the same weight start at rest and travel the same distance in the vertical and experience the same amount of loss, then they will end with the same kinetic energy and velocity. If the blocks have different masses, they will end with varying kinetic energies, but the same velocity since the masses divide out when you set gravitational potential energy equal to kinetic energy in the equation mg delta h equals 1 half mv squared. Now, let's see how this plays out in real life. All right, so instead of using a block and a low friction ramp like in the FRQ, I'm going to be using a pool noodle and this marble. And because this object is spherical and the inside of the pool noodle is fairly smooth, this will mimic the low friction environment that we encountered previously. All right, so for the first trial, I have the noodle set up so that it is concave upwards and I know that the noodle is going to be at the same height in the next trial because I have attached it to the stand and so I have a constant height. So let's do the first trial. Okay, so the ball landed around here, but I've set up another camera that way we can watch it in slow motion and then compare the two trials. For this next shot, I'm going to change the shape of this noodle so that it is concave downward to mimic the second slide in the problem. Alrighty, so now that I have reconfigured this pool noodle a bit, we are going to roll the marble down and see where it lands. Alright, let's look at the footage. First trial one. Now the second trial and the two trials overlaid on one another. Please note that while the marble did land the same distance from the table in both trials, the travel time from when the marble first entered the ramp to when it hit the ground varied based on the shape of the ramp. But that's a question for another video. Thanks for watching.